Here, I'm going to be providing a little background on Pythium, also known as damping off. Now, with the picture here on the title slide, uh, this is a disease that particularly attacks the roots or the root structure of plants. So it's important to be able to find a way to inspect those uh, if you suspect that your um, crop is infected with Pythium. So first off, identification. So there's different species of Pythium, but they all have similar preferred conditions. It's very common in younger plants or seedlings, as we see here. It can reduce the germination rate when using seeds. Now, what's kind of unique about this disease is while we have an entire flat here of plants growing, you can see Pythium will affect certain areas. So it may not be widespread and infect all plants, but it may occur in small pockets. Now, if you find a pocket here where plants are become infected, and you look closer at those seedlings, Typically, if you look at the base, the stem and soil point of intersection is where you'll see this kind of browning and discoloration. Uh, this can include plants that are wilting, may have a yellow coloration to their leaves. And the key part here is to, if you see that in a plant, especially a seedling, inspect the soil line to see if you see uh, conditions that look like this. Again, above the soil it might be perfectly green, but at that soil line will typically be area you find that. Now, this disease is very rarely found in soilless mixes but can be easily uh, unintentionally inoculated by growers using either dirty tools uh, from an infected area or reusing some soil or having very cool temperatures in their um, seedling flats. Now again, where to look? It's encouraged by overwatering and poor drainage, so you, and you want to look at that soil line. The root tips are often brown and dead, resulting in stunted plants. And this brown tissue on the outer portion of the root easily pulls off, leaving a strand of vascular tissue exposed. So if you do see this, you do go physically, kind of rub your fingers around this. Typically, that very outer coating will come off very easily. Again, if you're looking at a quick inspection, look right at that soil line. If you see that brown ring, that's an indication you could have pythium or damping off. How to prevent this? Keeping tools and containers clean and sterile is important. You can control fungus gnat larvae as these can aid in the spread of pythium, especially in grow room conditions. So this is where controlling an insect can help prevent a disease. For flood and drain setups, uh, a strain filter is recommended to prevent media from flowing uh, into the reservoir, which can carry the, the disease that way and kind of inoculate, um, sadly, your reservoir. Conditions that favor Pythium are high salts, overwatering, and wet weather conditions. And we may not have control over all of those, keeping in mind that um, these are areas uh, that you can look at to on records and documentation you may be doing to see if you're kind of falling into one of these categories. If you have fast drying growing media, that may be a way to discourage the formation of Pythium in a way for you to prevent it. We see again in this image here where we're seeing that kind of initial area kind of spreading out but not affecting all plants. And here we see Pythium infected roots compared to what normal or healthy look roots should look like. So you can see definitely is that reduction in total root area that's also going to affect the above ground growth. How to control it? Well, it's difficult to control once it's established. Make sure irrigation water is clean in the sense it's disease-free. So this is particularly important if you're using recirculated water. Fungicides can be an option, uh, but use them with caution and follow labeled instructions, and they may not offer a great level of control. See here with poinsettias where one area is infected and other plants are not. In this case, you may want to remove these plants and definitely ensure that the water from these plants it's not going through and infecting the entire crop in this growth facility.